In her 113 years, Shige Mineshiba witnessed wars, technological and social change, and the lives of countless family members begin and end. Still living in Vancouver is her daughter, 82-year-old Kyoko. She always uh, believed in achievement. Achievement, if you try hard, you'll be number one. Shige was born on a farm near Nagoya, Japan in 1909. There was eight different type of fruits tree in her farmyard. Orange, peach, oh yeah, anything. She finished high school and worked, including in insurance. She married, and she and her husband adopted baby Kyoko. Kyoko moved to Toronto in the late 1960s. Shige and her husband joined her on the move to Canada. Shige and Kyoko then moved to Vancouver. For the last 20 years or so, they've lived in this Mount Pleasant condo. Shige died there Friday. The death certificate lists advanced age as the cause. A number of newspapers and online resources say that at the time of her death, Shige was Canada's oldest person. Now, there's no official body that confirms this, but still, 113 years is no small feat. How is it that some people live this long? Dr. Roger Wong is an expert on geriatric medicine. He says genetics are part of the answer, but long-lived people tend to exercise, eat well, and have plenty of social outlets. Healthcare professionals, what we try to work towards is helping supporting individuals in the community to live not only for longer, but leading meaningful lives. And I think that is the important piece. Kyoko says for her mom, an attitude of appreciation was important. And she always thanked me. Arigato. When the uh, community nurse comes in, she goes, Arigato, Arigato, and then she goes, that's a prayer. And don't forget a cup of matcha tea every morning, not too hot. See, it's not bitter. No. Liam Britton, CBC News, Vancouver. Like, um